Hi, this is Scott Shepard again, Lake Area Technical Institute, Watertown, South Dakota, and I teach photo media there. And this is a tutorial that will show you how to set a precise crop uh, preset in Aperture so that you can get a photo that is uh, precise the dimension that you need to have for sending to a printer. For example, I want to crop this photo to 8 by 10, uh, 300 dpi. It used to be I went into Photoshop to do that, but now I've got a way to do this in Aperture. Go up to Aperture. First of all, take the photo that you want to crop. Have that available. Go up to Aperture and uh, go to your presets. Now, by the way, once you create this preset, uh, it's going to be there uh, no matter which picture you're editing. And it's set at the top, uh, JPEG original size. Well, what I want to do is I want to create a new preset. So I'm going to click the plus button down at the bottom. It makes a copy of the one that was highlighted previously. And this one we're going to call original size copy. Uh, it's the original. We're going to call this Shepard 8 by 10 300 dpi. So this is an 8 inch by 10 inch crop that, uh, at a 300 dots per inch. And then over here, I want to make sure that I change this to fit within inches. And I'm going to change this to 10 and 10. Now, this is a, a smart tool in that um, it doesn't matter whether the crop is going to be vertical or horizontal. It's going to fit it within a 10-inch dimension, either the highest dimension or the widest dimension. I'm going to set DPI to 300. And while we're here, uh, check to make sure that your color profile is sRGB, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you want to put a watermark on it and you've got one imported into Aperture, this is the place to check it. And um, I think we're good to go. I click OK. Now that doesn't crop it, of course. That just creates a preset. So that if I take the crop tool and if I go with 4 by 5 because this is a uh, picture in portrait mode. I'm going to crop it somewhere right here. I like the rule of thirds line so I can get the subject's eyes there in the rule of thirds. This is a pretty conventional portrait. Click OK or Enter. And now I have a picture that's cropped exactly the size I want it to be so that when I go export version And I'm exporting with this preset, JPEG Shepard 8x10, 300 dpi. I've got a bunch of other ones there. I want to make sure that this is the one that I picked. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with the name on this one. I'll just leave it as it is, and I'll click Export. And now it's exported. I'm going to go to the Finder just to find that picture. And I want to show you something here. If I take that photo and open it up in Photoshop, and I go up here to uh, Image Size, I can prove to you that this is the way it should be. It's 24 by 3,000 pixels. I know that's the right dimension for an 8 by 10 print that's 300 dpi exactly the size that you need to have if you're sending it off to a processor um, to get an 8x10 print made. Anyway, that's how you do that in Aperture. Thanks for listening.